LJ Draco here. Yes, uh, I was supposed to record and upload these videos last week, but there was a lot going on. Some, some health issues between me and my partner, so couldn't really get anything recorded. Uh, today's the only day where we're starting to feel a bit better, so I thought, okay, why not get these done? Uh, so you'll be seeing this on the Monday, we're recording this on the Saturday. So today, as you can tell by the title, is going to be the Black Widow 3D movie review. Now, I just want to clarify some things. So, when I do my 3D reviews for anyone who knows me by now, or you know, you're new and you don't know how I, how I do my reviews, I don't really talk about the movie. There are hundreds of other people out there who talk about the movies months in advance before they get released because they saw them in cinemas or because you know the Blu-rays or 4K just got released. No dust. And uh, they tend to do better actual movie reviews. I talk about a teeny bit about the movie, what I think of it and how the 3D represents it and if the 3D is worth the purchase or worth the viewing. So if you're not really into those kind of reviews and you want to see like a whole movie 3D review, I'm really the wrong person for that. Just, just to let you know right now. However, if you like what I talk about, like my honesty, then you're in the right place and you're watching the right videos. So, Black Widow. I only have the Blu-ray so I can only really talk about, you know, showing this. There will be a 3D poster here, uh, but I actually have the Blu-ray so, you know, let's just put that there. So, Black Widow in 3D. So, just a quick synopsis of the film. This is set... Um, just after uh, Civil War, where Black Widow is on the run. And uh, she encounters a lot of people. We also get a flashback into her origin. Very unique story for her, obviously. Um, I actually think this is a pretty good story for Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow. I actually like her as an actress. I think she did a great job as Black Widow. And I think this movie definitely gave us more of her in what we wanted, where she wasn't surrounded by... The Avengers, she wasn't being outshined. This definitely is her movie, and it was nice to see that. Let's talk about what I thought of the movie very quickly. I, as I've just said, I, I think it's a pretty good movie, and I think that um, it, it's definitely nice to see her separated from the Avengers because it's nice to, because she's a very interesting character. You know, she's not super strong, she's not, you know, she's just a very talented assassin, and she's very skilled. Which makes her kind of an equal opponent to, you know, aliens or super beings in some way or form. Okay, so, I like that. I like the movie in general. In terms of 3D. So, is there 3D in this movie? Of course there is. Is there some great depth? Also, yes, some incredible depth. Is there some pop? Very occasionally. Um, some very subtle moments here and there where, like, sniper rifles... Uh, I mean, people are going to say, oh, you're taking this from Bunker. No, 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 I'm agreeing with Bunker here. I'm agreeing with his review. There's certain scenes involving some sniper rifle shots where the barrel is just sticking out of the screen with some nice depth behind it. Um, there's also some scenes involving um, helicopters and planes and, and vehicles and explosions where there is some really good moments of pop-out along with some great depth. Do I think the 3D is worth the £80 price mark from Japan? No. Definitely not. I know it's very difficult. You can't really compare certain 3D movies to other 3D movies just because, you know, there is going to be differences depending on studios, people who do the 3D. However, before Marvel stopped doing 3D releases in the UK, we were getting consistent 50-50 depth and pop 3D movies. Um, Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, uh, the Spider-Man movies, um, the Avengers, Endgame and Infinity War both have incredible 50-50 depth and pop. And it's consistent throughout. There's some IMAX shots in some of those movies which also work extremely well. Black Widow does have a few IMAX shots and which does help incorporate some more of that depth. Not so much the pop, more so the depth. In this specific case, I would have to really say that the 3D for this is mostly about 85% depth and 15% pop. Which, I know a lot of people are going to sit there and say 3D isn't so much about the pop, it's more about the depth. 
No, in terms for a 3D Blu-ray to be the best it can be, it has to have that equal 50-50 ratio. It has to be balanced. You can't have too much pop and not enough depth, and you can't have too much depth but not enough pop because it just it doesn't feel right. The whole point of a 3D Blu-ray is that it not only brings you into the screen, but things come out of the screen to you. It's a, it's, it's, it's a kind of like double way thing where you can enjoy being a part of the experience while also seeing it in front of your own eyes quite physically. Um, I still state that the 3D Blu-ray is definitely the best way to watch the film. I can't watch it in 2D. Well, I've got no choice. But in terms of 3D presentation, I would much rather watch it consistently in 3D than in 2D. Because it is definitely a better way to watch the film. However, I just feel that considering this is a very expensive 3D disc, you still get the enjoyment. But if you're a 50-50 guy or gal or whoever you are, <laughs> if you enjoy 50-50 depth and pop, equal balance you're not going to get that with this 3D Blu-ray. It's still enjoyable. So for me personally, I rank the movie at a 4.5 to 2D, 4.5. I could definitely see myself watching it again. Um, yeah, very fun, very enjoyable. Glad to, that she had her own movie. Very um, enjoyable characters as well in this movie. In, in terms of 3D, I'm honestly just going to have to give it, I'd say a 3.5. Out of my honest opinion, just because I heard so many people say this is one of the best since Endgame, and it really isn't. I mean, if you try and watch Black Widow in 3D side by side with Endgame or Infinity War, you'll notice some major differences. The 3D is nowhere near as strong or consistent as Endgame or Infinity War, and that's why the 3D for me is a 3.5. It is still enjoyable. I'm only speaking from what my eyes can see. Your eyes might see different, and that's okay. I still recommend that if you can, watch the 3D. But do I think its 3D presentation is enough to justify the price tag? Hell no. Definitely not worth the £80. It's not worth it. But it's your money. You do what you want to do. I hope you enjoy it better than I did in terms of its 3D presentation. Anyway, that is it. I'm getting ready after this video to record my Shang-Chi 3D movie review, in which you'll get my honest opinions with that too. Anyway, take care, you wonderful, wonderful people. And I shall see you next time.